We're fortunate to have a very strong and seasoned federal affairs team headed by Ann Steckel, who brings more than 15 years of experience in evaluating and impacting the legislative landscape. She leads an operation of superb legislative, regulatory, legal, and international trade experts. And all of them are fighting for you in Washington, D.C., and are working with leaders to advance this industry. So please join me in welcoming Ann Steckel. Well, thanks so much, Donnell, and good morning, everyone. It is great to be here in sunny San Diego. I appreciate the opportunity to share my thoughts on what's happening in Washington, D.C., especially on the federal policy issues that we care about the most. While we are already in the third week of this new year, it seems like just yesterday we were in the throes of a presidential election. And despite the potential for many distractions, I am proud to say the National Biodiesel Board found a way to cut through all the noise in its election year and talk about our accomplishments despite all the continued headwinds. As a brief recap, here are some of our best efforts from 2016. EPA responded to our call for stronger advanced biofuel volumes with a 280,000 gallon increase, giving us room to grow in 2017. We had a record number of senators sign on to our call for higher volumes, a record not just for NBB, but for any similar support letter. Our Capitol Hill BioFry event attracted hundreds of staff and leaders to discuss and learn about biodiesel and the industry delivered a record production of more than 2.6 billion gallons. Now with a new year comes a new presidential administration. While the transition to any new administration brings both challenges and opportunities, this new president comes with what many perceive as greater uncertainty than most. But regardless of the continued noise in Washington, our past success is a good indicator for how we will achieve our goals in 2017. For the biodiesel industry, uncertainty and change are nothing new. We've been here before with the tax expiration, in fact, four times before, and we prevailed. In addition, over the last several years, we have been successful in creating a sustained, aggressive lobbying campaign to ensure that our RFS levels delivered growth for the industry. While I'm proud of our continued efforts, we can't let up. Because regardless of the viewpoint of this incoming administration, some things in Washington never change. A case in point is the oil industry's massive lobbying apparatus. They continue to mount an aggressive campaign to fight the RFS. While my sources tell me that their primary interest is in attacking ethanol and not biodiesel, they will not shy away from trying to limit our growth. After all, every gallon less of biodiesel sold in this country means more money in the petroleum industry's pocket. And at the end of the day, money is what this fight is all about. Which brings me back to where I started, that our belief in history should be our guide with regards to how we achieve success this year. We should all be proud that biodiesel continues to have strong bipartisan support in Congress. And we will continue to cultivate these strong connections we have as an industry on both sides of the aisle. There are three important things we need to do to be successful this year. First, we must ensure that our key messages continue to be understood and heard by policymakers. As we heard earlier, the biodiesel industry supports more than 48,000 jobs and $1.9 billion in wages across the country. A producer's tax credit would be a powerful economic stimulant by creating thousands of jobs and billions of dollars in economic activity. Biodiesel is key to diversified fuel options that increase America's energy security. All of these messages fit well into this new political narrative coming from the Trump administration and from many on Capitol Hill. Second, I hope that all of you will consider supporting the NBB PAC. 
The PAC allows us to attend events with members of Congress and talk about the benefits of biodiesel. Third, advocacy. We must continue to be highly politically engaged with our allies on Capitol Hill and in the incoming Trump administration. As you heard from Donnell, I will be adding staff to help us out with this endeavor. However, I will continue to need your help. Throughout the year, NBB will continue to call on you to become engaged, to become involved, and help us raise the volume and build the understanding and influence to move policy and legislation in the right direction. I am confident that all of you in this room will answer that call to become politically mobilized. And I thank you in advance for your continued willingness to help NBB fight. I believe our diversity and our shared passion comprise our strength. We speak with one voice, and that voice is powerful. By continuing to stay unified, we can continue to be a positive and effective force for the good of the industry and for the good of the country. Thank you so much.